It was in April of 2010 and in Panama. It was Easter week and my son went up into the mountains with his friends. He had tripped on a tree trunk that was laying in the, in the jungle there and got up and brushed himself off and kept on running. A week later when we came home he started complaining about pain in his leg and his left thigh. They did an MRI on his hip and they found something that was the size of a golf ball. Peter got diagnosed with osteosarcoma. The doctor basically told us, your son has a tumor, is uh, malignant, is fast growing, and you have no time to waste. He was enjoying his life as a teenager, doing all the things that teenagers do. Uh, he had a good, healthy lifestyle. I felt it was um, just unjust, unfair, but I suppose everyone feels that way about their child with cancer. We just got on it and a week later we were here in New York. Thank God the hospital found this place for us. Sloan Kettering is treating my son's cancer, but the Ronald McDonald House treats our hearts, our souls. The kindness is the hallmark of the Ronald McDonald House. When you spend all day watching your child get chemotherapy, they're laid in bed, they're hooked up to a bunch of tubes and machines, and you come home late at night, you're emotional gravity has, has increased a thousandfold and you're just slammed down to the ground by the weight of your own weariness and despair. And when you come here, it's an uplifting. It's a place that will give you moral support. It will give you a roof and a good meal. It will give you a warm heart also because of all, everything they do for you. They are truly saints. It's like a home away from home, definitely. When you're in the hospital, you say, oh, let's go home. It's Ron McDonald's, it is home. It's friends, people you can talk to, it's, you make a life here. There's tons of stuff to do. There's a playroom, there's activities. It's magic here because it truly is a place where your heart finds rest. People spend their Saturday mornings or their Sunday mornings to make you a breakfast or a Wednesday night to bring you a meal. It touches your heart. This is his comfort zone. He goes up, he climbs in the bed, he has his crutches, climbs in the bed, pulls those covers over him, and rests his soul. I, I gotta say that, I mean, he's hurting, but this place gives him comfort. It's familiar surroundings, and it's a niche that he can crawl into and feel safe. And it's, it's just wonderful, it's a godsend.